<laughs> I just, I, it's day five, I give up, I can't, I can't, to the theater, this is where I am. So, I'm at work, obviously. Um, last night, I went to sleep early, or I, I tried to go to sleep early. I think I finished editing the vlog around like 8.30, quarter to nine. Got all ready for bed, climbed into bed, happy little cozy bunny, and then my tummy started to hurt. And, um decided to be a jerk for like the next hour, hour and a half kind of thing. I had some soda crackers in my room though, so I think that saved me, but yeah. So I was hoping to get to sleep by like 9, 9.30 at the latest, and I think it was closer to 11, 11.30, somewhere around there. Woke up a bunch during the first part of the night, yeah. But I still got like seven and a half hours sleep last night, which I can't complain about because the last couple nights it's been like four hours or three and a half or whatever, so. Not what I was hoping for, but still way better than I had. So I'll take it as a win, and then hopefully tonight I can get a better sleep in. And then I'm off until Tuesday, I think, which is a minor miracle. But then it's just going to probably go downhill from there, because then I think it just starts to get crazy busy. So that should be fun. <laughs> Not at all sarcastic. I also, I don't remember if I mentioned yesterday, but I got... Uh, email from work from one of the ladies I work with she does a lot of the event planning here and stuff and um a, an extra event booked in June which means that even though we worked so hard on schedules to make it so nobody had to work like seven days in a row or something um I now have to work eight days in a row <laughs> so I'm gonna talk with her today about that see if look at the schedule see if there's anything we can do to change it but I don't think there is because I've got like the niche market on my position which is great in some regards but then when this happens but yeah so that's that's fun June was already crazy let's add an extra shift it's fine I'm hoping for a quick shift today because I don't think there's too much to do again it's just one of those like trying to get ahead days before everything goes crazy. So hopefully just four hours. And um, I brought my laptop down with me, so maybe I'll go find somewhere to write. The problem is the coffee shop that is nearest me, it was the Starbucks, it's under renovation right now, which is kind of lame. Um, but, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I know myself well enough to know that I'm too lazy to go to the other one. <laughs> so maybe we'll find something in between that could work, but. Yeah, that's me. I'm gonna have my breakfast drink because I'm pretty hungry, and I will see you later. Well, hello, I am home, and I feel like I've been out forever today, and I mean, I kind of have been because it's 10 to five, so I got off work around noon, stayed there chatting to my auntie until about 12.30 and I was like, oh, I should go get some food and do some writing because I did bring my computer down so I could do just that. And so I went and I got some food, I did a little bit of writing and I got to the point where my butt was hurting from sitting in that one place for too long, but I wanted to do more writing. So I went to a coffee shop and I was there for like an hour, hour and a half and then I ended up meeting up with my mom who was getting her hair cut and her boyfriend and we stopped by the store quickly because I had to pick up a few things. Gotta get my easy mat because I was down to one and um, and I'm working a lot coming up here soon and then I just got home so it was a very long day, very productive day. I have no idea what word count I'm at right now so I'll have to double check that but my laptop did just about die on me. Like It was like I'm at 40% and I was like oh that's cool. Like still going strong and then I was gonna write a blog post and then it was like jokes I'm at 8% so I was like yeah so I gave up but yeah I feel like I've gone quite a bit done I'm feeling a lot better about the story there's I've added some stuff which is great because I've been struggling to add some stuff it's still a little bit wonky but at least I'm getting the ideas down so I'm very excited about that but now I'm gonna change because I am still wearing the clothes that I wore to work and then get into I'm gonna get into something comfy and then we'll see how kind of the rest of the day goes for me. I should probably eat food at some point, but future problem. So I've pretty much just been laying in my bed not doing anything for the last hour? I'd say hour. Um, I'm hungry, or I'm getting hungry though, so I'm like, 
you need to get up now because I'm gonna heat up the oven and that takes some time so I'm gonna go make myself some food and then I think I'm gonna get into editing the nice thing is, is I don't Oh, it is cold. I don't work tomorrow. I don't work till Tuesday now, so it's like four days off, so I can sleep in tomorrow. I got lots of stuff that I can get done for sure. I should probably try to do some more filming and also editing and all that fun stuff. I mean, video editing as well as book editing, so I'm feeling pretty jazz though. I mean, this last week was rough. I was exhausted all the time. I'm still a little tired, but I got so much more sleep yesterday than I did in the last couple days, so I'm fingers crossed that it's gonna be all right. But yeah, I'm gonna put on some cozy socks and my slippers and maybe throw like a little sweater on over top of this because it's a little brisk outside compared to most days. I don't know. I don't know what the temperature is. Let's find out. 18 degrees. Okay, that's not super brisk, but with a air purifier going to help me breathe. It's a little brisk. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna cozy up. I'm gonna go upstairs and start making food. When it takes like the longest time to cook, eat dinner, and get back downstairs, it's been an hour and 40 minutes, I would say. I got distracted because my sister-in-law came home and then our friend came over because they're doing their workout things, so. Yeah, I was being way too social, but I am sitting down now. I've got my computer open and I'm going to figure out where I started writing today and um, how many words I've done. I'm gonna guess, because I think I was at 114,000, so I'm guessing 1,883, but I just want to get where my start point was so I can do better with the math. And I didn't put up my count from yesterday, so I'm gonna have to add that in at some point. Mm, I'm so bad at keeping track of things lately. All right, so I'm too lazy to try to figure out what I did yesterday because I didn't write it down But I think it was like 2,000 words. It wasn't a good day But I also forgot that I added stuff into the chapter so the 2,000 or words or whatever that I'm saying I think I've edited it. That's just 2,000 words that I've added on top of everything I edited. I get it I understand so between whatever I did yesterday, which I think was like 2,000 words and what I've done today I'm almost at 10,000 words for the day 9,849 so that is amazing because that is a marked difference from what I've been previously doing in two days. I, I've i surpassed what I did all last week and I had a 13,000 word day last week because the other ones were just so terrible. So feeling good, still kind of blah about the stuff that I've had to skip or the stuff that I've added in I know is a little janky, but hey, we are getting there. So that's exciting. My phone is ringing. It's a 1-800 number. I'm not answering that. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going here, I suppose. But yeah, maybe get, I said I was gonna put a hoodie on earlier and I didn't, but now I feel like the need. I have this one hoodie right here that I just always have hanging up on my door and it's like a 3X or something from Old Navy. I got it for super cheap, but it's like my go-to sweater if I wanna be super cozy or if I want one to sleep in. So I think I'm gonna put that on right now and I think I'll just be the coziest. Making up progress finally I'm back in the game I've done like another 2400 words and I'm actually adding stuff to the story that is not the worst thing ever which is amazing because it has you know if you've been here you know it's been a rough one like from last Wednesday so last Wednesday was the last time I got any words in until Tuesday nothing and the three days before then were all under like sub 2000 word days so I'm feeling pretty awesome because that's going to put me close to, if not at 12,000 words for the day, which is amazing and I'm still feeling great, but I realized a flaw in my plan of this hoodie. I'm super cozy. I'm so happy. I love everything and, and my onesie is great. Problem. I need to pee. I have to, take it. I have to take this off so I can take that off. I'm very sad about this, but... I'm feeling great about that, so that is fantastic. So I'm gonna take care of business and then get back to business. <laughs> you needed to know that. Alrighty, so my sister-in-law and I just ran to the store because she got a new phone last weekend and so she's been trying to find a case for it so we went to see if we could find one and we did find one. And while we were out, I picked up two important things. One of them, I don't know why I switched hands just there. Yes. <laughs> my weakness, always my weakness. <laughs> And then the other one was a phone case myself. So when I first got my phone, I got a phone case that has like water in the back and like 
glitter that goes up and down very reminiscent of those like magic wands back in the day <laughs> I'm so old uh, but the one thing that I don't like about it is how big it is because it adds like an extra phone thickness to it so I've been looking on Amazon for so I've been looking on Amazon for a phone case to get but then today I was thinking I'm going out to a place this summer where one of my co-workers last summer dropped her phone in the ocean so maybe I should get a life proof case instead or like an otter box or something like that instead of just a nice thin one so I picked this one up it's super thin for five bucks at um, Walmart it's it's just very simple but it's like so much thinner like it's half the thickness of my phone with the other one I don't have pop socket on there right now but I'm gonna play with keep that for a couple days and see how I feel also my other case like the buttons have all started to disappear I don't have a volume up on it any it's yeah it's not a good situation so I guess basically I'm trying to decide if I want a thin one or if I don't care enough and I would rather have like a life proof slash otter box because those are giant so we will see how I feel I think I'm going to eat some of those chips because yes uh, but I'm feeling pretty tired so I'll probably just eat some chips write a blog post because I couldn't earlier because my my computer was like no I'm going to die and then um, head to sleep soon and then I get to sleep in tomorrow I'm so excited and I have dinner plan in no plans tomorrow night which is exciting I was talking to my aunt at work today and we were talking about how neither of us had plans for this long weekend and she invited me over for dinner so that's nice but yeah so good times good times need to figure out how many words I actually got through today because I did get through a little bit more and then eat some chips and vlog and then I'll check in with you after I guess alrighty so it is just after 10 now I got my blog post written which is awesome I'm so Still managing to stay awake. My voice is cracking and that's weird, but I'm just definitely slowly flagging. So I think we're gonna end it here. I'm still just so excited to sleep in tomorrow. Ah, and if I'm an organized person tomorrow, I'm gonna get editing done. I'm gonna do some filming and do some video editing. So that is the plan for tomorrow. It's maybe a little bit ambitious, but we'll see how it goes. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow at some point after I wake up. <laughs> Good night.